we're demonstrating uh, against the uh, lockdown restriction because uh, we reckon it's going to make us crazy. Andy met the guy from the consulate on the golf course and Andy told him it's all very well getting people out of India and Peru and Guatemala, but what about those of us stranded here in St Lucia? You know, with no ice in the fridge and bed sheets that haven't been changed in 48 hours. I've always been a big fan of folk music and have felt the world of insurance has been underrepresented in folk songs through the ages. And now that I'm a lockdown artist, I can put that to right. Here's a song called Renewal Date. As I was walking in the fields, I met a bonny lass and she was great. She took my hand, but I'd forgot that this day was renewal day. And I had no tropical fruit platter at breakfast, only granola and yoghurt and hot rolls and toast and eggs and pancakes and not a word from the Foreign Office. Hello Keith, thanks for offering to pick up a few things. I prefer to pop out myself but what with being 70 and the diabetes, you know. Anyway, that's what neighbours are for I suppose. I really appreciate it. So, um, pint of milk and some bread would be great. It doesn't matter what sort, brown, white. I don't want to put you to any trouble. Renewal date, I forgot thee as we walked past the willow trees. Renewal... Keith, thanks for offering to pick up a few things again. Hope you've got a pen with you this time. Uh, we need orange juice, cranberry juice, milk, skimmed, uh, granola, almond and raisin. You get that in a little purple packet. Bread, Hovis Original, seven grain, please. And can you ask the baker in Tesco to slice it, medium cut? Uh, the Times Literary Supplement and Camembert. Uh, we don't know the brand, but it's in a round box with a red and white gingham cloth. Oh, and uh, a Dutchy Original Organic Free Range Chicken. I remember when there were fields all around Hammond Road and they started building houses and I broke into every single one of them. Oh yes, happy days. There was a lot of technology going on then, which was a boon to us because there were all these valuable little things like iPods. You could nick them really easily. But what people forget is that CCTV came along too and that really hurt us. I had to start wearing a balaclava. Yeah, you try wearing a balaclava with this all sprouting out underneath. Keith, you got the wrong camembert. I've left it on the doorstep for you to take back. Oh, and when you do, pick up some capers and Worcester sauce with you. And then drop into the garden centre. I've told them you're collecting our new garden swing seat. You've still got your roof rack, haven't you? If you get cracking, you'll be back before lunch. Plenty of time for you to assemble it then. I had so many plans before this lockdown happened. There were a couple of houses on Lapworth Road I'd noticed left their keys in full view on the window. <gasps> a bungalow on Bellevue Street with a permanently open bathroom window. A ground floor flat on Cardona Avenue with a massive cat flap. But now all those plans have gone up in smoke. Because what people don't realise or appreciate is that housebreakers have dreams as well, you know. For fuck's sake, Keith, you've got the wrong camembert again. Does that look like red and white gingham cloth to you? And we're still waiting for that swing seat. Come on, mate, pull your bloody socks up. I'm going to share some pottery ideas to help get you through this lockdown. Hopefully they'll give you the skills to, I don't know, make a gift for someone you love. Maybe your parents, if they've let you come and live with them after your relationship has broken up very, very bitterly. Hello, children. And well done for helping your mummies and daddies set up the Zoom for class. Looks like I've got a very clever bunch of five-year-olds today. Mrs Beard isn't well at the moment, so I've been asked to take over. My name is Miss Morris, and I'm what's called a supply teacher. That's a very good question. Uh, Kyle? No, it isn't a stupid question, Kyle's daddy. A supply teacher is sort of a substitute who comes onto the pitch when another teacher gets injured. No, no, uh, Cheryl, no, no, Mrs Beard wasn't playing football. That's a metaphor. A metaphor, Kyle, is... And you can't really fail at pottery. Anything goes, really. 
Whereas in life, you can have a flat and a girlfriend one minute and the next minute, literally nothing. Oh dear. Oh, well, never mind, uh, Emma. These things happen. I'm sure mummy or daddy will clean it up. Not daddy, okay. Oh, don't call him that. Uh, Emma, that's not a nice word. No, even if mummy uses it, it's still not nice. Oh, hello, Emma's mummy. Emma's had an accident on the carpet. She was telling me all about daddy. Yes, she used that word too. Okay, so for this piece, we've slapped our clay and now we're squeezing with both hands. You can imagine you've got your fingers on your ex's throat, if you like. And really squeeze. Oh, <laughs> a bit too hard there, never mind. But it felt good, yeah? So, shall we move on to the K sound? And we're clicking our castanets. They're from Spain, Kyle. No, it's not obvious to everybody, Kyle's daddy. Thank you for asking, Kyle. Is anybody going on holiday to Spain? Well, not this year, no. They've been hit by the coronavirus too. Coronavirus? Um, well, it's a bit like the tooth fairy. It visits you, but instead of leaving you a two pound coin, it leaves you with a nasty cough, leading to a serious chest infection and you having to go on a ventilator. Which is a th sound. Th for ventilator. And we're gonna level off the top of the cone with our thumbs pressing down. A bit like pressing your thumbs into your ex's throat. Uh, again, just to finish things off. Our new vicar, who I call the Reverend Mao, phoned me to say he thinks we should put the proceeds from my cake sale for Godalming in bloom to help the homeless. Yes the very people who urinate in our window boxes. The main quality you need is a potter's patience. What can hold you back is self-loathing, self-pity, self-obsession. Try and let go of those if you can, and remember it really is okay to be bisexual. Constitution doesn't say nothing about a virus. Just bring it on. Bring it on, I'll take it on. With my AK-47. Shoot it in the head, you know, all those little tentacles, everything. And then I'll bury it out back with Skeeter. Once again, uh, thank you for tuning in to uh, Jeff Will Fix It, my new uh, live stream uh, DIY uh, show, the uh, the fourth emergency service uh, or. Or is it the fifth? I can't remember. Anyway, we're, you know, here I am. Man on the TV news channel. He said I should uh, follow the government advice and I just shot the TV. Shot it. I got no TV now. Right, so from your description there, Dave, that looks to me like it's probably a split or worn sealer washer. So first things first, Dave, you just want to turn off your system lock. Uh, yeah, the, the system lock. Yeah, right, okay. Is, is, see that handle right in front here? Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no. Dave, Dave, that's the ball cock. Okay, but leave that alone, leave that alone. Okay, right, yeah, left, no further. Come on, Dave, use your eyes, you're looking for a handle. Okay, right, great. Now grab that and just give it a gentle turn. Uh, well, of course it's going to turn. It's a bloody handle, isn't it, Einstein? No, no, no. Clockwise. Clockwise. You're turning it off. You're turning it off. Okay. All right, look. Just just push it a bit harder. Come on, put your back into it. Go on. Oh, come on, Einstein. Go on. Give, give it some proper welly. Go on. Ah, oh. oh, Christ. Well, you've only gone and broken that now, haven't you, you muppet? I uh, shot my daddy. Uh, I shot my brother. I winged my grandma. So I don't see why I couldn't shoot a chicken shit little virus 
Renewal date I had mislaid the correspondence with the day. <laughs> <laughs>